Hi guys, welcome to Hanielas. Today we're gonna make ice cream cone waffle bowls. But before I, I start with the recipe, I wanted to wish someone happy birthday. I wish I could have these with you today, Marlin. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a happy birthday. So now we're ready to make these, so let's get started. I have here melted and cooled butter, all-purpose flour, I have granulated sugar, vanilla extract, salt, and two large eggs. Now in my opinion you could also half the amount of the sugar in this recipe if you don't want it to be too sweet. So first you have to beat the sugar with two large eggs. You want to beat it until pale in color and doubled in volume. Now we can add melted butter. vanilla extract and also a little bit of salt. Now using um, a spatula or a small whisk you want to stir in sifted flour. To make these I'm gonna be using my pizzelle maker. I've had this for years so you just want to follow the directions on a pizza maker that you are using. There is a light at the bottom, so once it's turned on and once it reaches the temperature, it's going to turn green. I don't have to grease my pizza maker, it doesn't require any greasing. So I'm just going to dump about a tablespoon or so of batter in the middle of the pattern. And then we're going to wait about uh, 45 seconds up to a minute. Now remember when you are taking these off they are very very hot. You do want to work pretty fast but make sure that you don't burn yourself so if you need to you can cool your hands in cold water and have it on hand. Make sure you use a silicone utensil or a wooden utensil when you are picking this up so you don't damage the surface of your pizza maker and then you can press it into a cup using a smaller glass or something like that. Let it cool for about 30 seconds and then you can just lift it up and you have the bowls ready. Now if you, if you want to make something easier you can also cut the pizzelle into four wedges. Let them cool and use these with your ice cream. Last step we're gonna dip these in chocolate. So here I have some uh, dipping chocolate. I'm just gonna melt that in a microwave and then some rainbow sprinkles. We're gonna have these on hand. So once your chocolate is melted you can dip the ends in the chocolate and then can coat them with the sprinkles and let them cool. Once the chocolate hardens you can use them in your ice cream. Same with the bowls. I'm just gonna dip the edges. Now if you feel really ambitious you can also make ice cream cone and then dip the ends These waffle cones, waffle bowls or waffle wedges, they all make for a really pretty fun presentation. You can serve them alone or you can also step it up a notch and add your favorite ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream by the way? I love all the ice cream. It's like one of my favorite, favorite desserts. So I hope you are enjoying the rest of the summer guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.